lost a very special person in the wine industry this year. When Dame P. Bailey passed away, it would have been his birthday today. When Destel asked me to, to host a tasting today, I said, it is a time to reflect on some of the wines and some of the stories of the wines that we have here. We came here today to celebrate the life of Dan P. Bailey and in tasting the wines that we've seen today, they are their own celebration of his life. From an era which in fact he, he, he bestrode like a colossus. Dan P. has been a presence through the, through the whole tasting. We've spoken about him a lot. Um, I remember he was my uh, supervisor of the, for my Cape Wine Master dissertation, so I got to know him well then. My first encounter with Dampy was at the Niederberg auction with my wife, my first Niederberg auction. And the first person I bumped into and spilled a glass of wine over him was, was Dampy Bailey. <laughs> and right at the end of the day, I, I think he came looking for me. <laughs> and, he, and he tapped me on the shoulder and he said, Albert, you're still going to spill many glasses of wine over many people. So just take that with you and forget what happened today. One of the greatest figures. It's, it's going to be difficult to ever replace him because his greatness was, 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 was you know, really incredible. He was actually a pioneer in taking South African wine to the world. And uh, I mean, that's the legacy he leaves. There's so many great stories about Dampy that I and others will tell. I mean, what, I, what stands out for me is the twinkle in his eye, the sense of humor, the engaging personality, always the life and soul of the party of a story. He was a connector in so many respects, connected people, connected the world to South African wine, uh, connected SFW to other parts of the industry. What Dan P seems to have achieved is a recognition that if you've got the fruit right, it needed far less manipulation. And so the wines, particularly those from the 70s, represent the acme of that old style of Cape wine at its very best. Perfect fruit, not too interfered with, with a richness, a complexity and a depth, which took us another 30 or 40 years to discover again. They've become not only fashionable, but we, we've recognized just how good they were. So that there's been a, a pride in the tradition, which has been very important, I think, for, for the South African wine revolution. If I look at the variety of wines we tasted, the Sinsos, and in particular that uh, unlabeled but corked Tassenberg from 1969, through to the beautiful Pinotage 1964, Chateau Libertas 1968, in small bottles. We had that beautiful Zonnebloom Shiraz, silky smooth, uh, a touch of spice, but just amazing. And we concluded with a magnum of Chateau Libertas, um, 39 years old. Uh, we tasted a few wines that I had to get out of my chair. And, and that you do when, when the wines are actually older, older than you are. So I, I had to do that a couple of times today. To have had the privilege to taste with incredible tasters like, like, like Tim and Michael and Benny, legends of the industry, to celebrate the MP and his contribution, what he left behind for us, just super. It's a great way to, to honor someone by tasting wines like this, which is, which is a privilege. Tremendous respect for, what, for the work that was done. And uh, we hope, as I said, that in future, we'll see and we'll give the opportunity for the future generations to experience what we experience today. So it was an extraordinary lineup. All of them wines that in some kind of way he had overseen or he had arrived at the cellar and tweaked in a way that set the course for the modern South African wine industry. You know, he just connected so many disparate parts of our business, our industry, um, you know, in, a, in, a, in an affable and engaging, non-threatening way. And I think, um, in many respects, 
we actually need more of that. Today was a moment to stand still at Dampy's birthday, to salute him and all the other people before him that invested in this particular wonderful tabernacle of wine, and to say thank you to the winemakers and all the people involved in making these wines that we could enjoy today with a big smile on our face. To that I say thank you and cheers. Thank you.